Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry, it's been a while. Life got super crazy, super busy. I had to kind of put YouTube on the back burner for a bit, but I'm excited to get back to it. Thanks for joining me again. Let's take a look at this project. JeepSolid.com So today I'm gonna to be removing the skid plate and cross member from my Jeep Wrangler YJ here. This project can be a bit of a nightmare sometimes if these bolts are rusted in. So I'm gonna show you guys some tips and tricks. This one fortunately does not have very much rust on it so that's gonna make it a lot easier. But I'm still gonna cover some ways you can troubleshoot it and uh, some repairs if you break some of the bolts. So let's take a look at it. Now before you get anywhere close to trying to remove the six bolts that hold the uh, skin plate on there, you're definitely gonna wanna hit it with some PB Blaster very liberally because uh, like I said, these bolts can be a nightmare sometimes. So there's six bolts here, three on each side, and you wanna try to get up here the top of the bolt if you can't. Well, this isn't really the top where the nut is, but you wanna give it a real liberal soaking, and you might even have to let this set for a few days. And as you can see, I actually have very little rust on this Jeep, which is gonna be a huge help. Uh, some areas, you know, they salt the roads, you can just get a ton of rust and that'll make this job, you know, 10 times harder. And in those cases, there's actually a real good likelihood you'll end up breaking some of these bolts or not even be able to get them off at all. Well, there's always a cutoff wheel or a sawzall. But we're going to try to avoid that. And right in the center of the skid plate, there's a, a transmission mount. I'm going to hit that with some PB Blaster as well, just to get it soaking. All right, now that I got the nice smell of PB Blaster in the shop, we're going to wait. Okay, so why are we removing the skid plate? Well, only if you're working on the transmission or removing the transfer case, those kinds of things. Um, if you're just changing the fluid, like the transfer case fluid or the transmission fluid, you don't want to remove the skid plate. And the skid plate and cross member there, it's actually supporting the weight of the transmission and transfer case. So we're gonna put, uh, get a bottle jack, some jack stands, and support that weight before we start taking off any bolts. But before we do that, there's something else real important we gotta do, so let's do it. You definitely wanna chalk your wheels really good because, yeah, you're supporting the transmission and transfer case on jack stands. You want your parking brake set, you want it in gear, because you don't want your Jeep to move at all and those jack stands tip. That'd be bad news. I don't know, you could get crushed. Did I mention that if you're doing transfer case or transmission fluid change, you do not have to remove the skid plate, right? I mentioned that, didn't I? I'll put a link in the description below. I have videos on doing those projects. They're super easy. So let's keep going. Looks like I got my helper. You gonna help me? Yeah, when I start using the impact wrench, you're gonna run. Huh. All right, now that we got those transmission mounting bracket bolts loose, let's uh, support the transmission. Big old jack stand. Right there, okay. I'm going to put just a little bit of uh, pressure, not on the oil pan. Yeah, I'm going to get a block of wood. Okay, now I'm just going to take a little pressure off. A bit more. 
There, and my jack stand is kind of wedged in there. I'm gonna leave this jack there. And because I don't ever want to hear those sirens hear that coming to my house because people get crushed and killed under vehicles every year I'm putting another jack stand back here so that'll catch the uh, transfer case huh I wonder what's going on I got the transmission transfer case properly supported. Wheels are chocked. We're good to go. No go on that guy either. So this is pretty common. I might need to let it either set longer, but uh, I've got another method to try here. So hang on a second. And there's not even a lot of rust on these, so you can imagine how much harder this would be if there's a ton of rust on there. This is a method I've used before that's worked, so let's give it a try. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, right? Another thing, I haven't beat on it a whole lot yet. we go. Number one. The magic of some leverage. There you go. So you can see on here the penetrating oil just got right here. So this is actually the part that's up into the frame. So hopefully with a little capillary action, it'll kind of slowly work its way up there. But if you're having trouble with real rusted bolts, I would just keep soaking this with PB Blaster, PB Blaster, just for a few days. I'm gonna throw a clamp on here. Somewhere. There oh, and these are the spacers that go in there. So I'm throwing a clamp here just to kind of hold this side. <laughs> Hold on here a second, take a time out. So I haven't talked a whole lot about if the bolts are really stuck on there, like what would I do? So at this point, I haven't beat on it a whole lot. I would take a big old hammer, like a five pound sludge and beat on those bolts. You're trying to, if they're rusted together, you're trying to break it loose. Fortunately with this Allen wrench, I'm able to get enough leverage on there to snap it loose, which is okay. But if you're breaking your Allen wrench, and you can't seem to get enough leverage on it to do that. Try beating on it for a while, just break it loose that way. The other thing, you can take a torch, maybe put a flame on that bolt for a while, heat it up, try to expand it, let it cool down for a while, expand it again with a, a torch and let it cool down, and then hit it with some more PB blaster. But ultimately, if you're fighting it that much, you're gonna end up probably breaking those bolts and you're gonna need the repair kit. I'm putting a link in the description below of a repair kit so you can actually repair these uh, broken bolts. So, all right, let's get back to it. Get a wrench on the back side of this mounting bolt.
Somebody really liked their washers here. So I ended up uh, jacking the transmission up just a little bit more. There was still a little bit of pressure on the skid plate. As I started lowering that side down, I kind of noticed I got that clamp on there just holding that side so I can start working on this side. Got it loose, let's uh, drop it down. And that's just what I suspected. Got a busted transmission mount. There, busted clean off. So yeah, I could kind of, I could kind of see that the transmission mount was uh, I could kind of see the uh, transmission mount was broken. By peeking up over the top of it and then the way I noticed that is yeah sometimes when I'd go over like a speed bump or something I'd hear a clunk clunk and it really sounded like my transmission and transfer case like bouncing on top of the uh, skid plate here so glad I got that pulled off so here's the uh, spacer that goes in here and then your bolt so that's why these can be such a bugger to get out is you really want to get that PB blaster up on top of this spacer so hopefully some of it kind of gets up into these threads now if this uh, so these are welded in place these bolt the, the nut with the threads in there so sometimes these uh, strip out so sometimes these strip out or break and uh, you have to actually or use a cutoff wheel or something to get your skid plate off uh, but they actually do sell a replacement kit, a kit to repair these, so I'll put a link in the description below on where to find that. So there we go, that's about it on removing the skid plate. And here it is, and the reason I did that, well, here's the bottom part of my uh, transmission mount, and the top part, or the other half of it, is right here there's a clean break all the way across right along here so I'm gonna have to get that fixed so be sure to stay tuned at the very end here for the bloopers honestly that's my favorite part if this video helped you out you found it informative give it a thumbs up if you have a question want to leave a comment below just say hi I don't care make a comment down below thanks for watching and have a good day this very often but it can be a I don't know, I just need a towel. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah.